Your website is not just a necessary expense. It should be working 24 hours a day, seven days a week to grow your business. There are a lot of people that think their website just has to exist. But there are so many repetitive tasks that you can automate using your website. And if you aren't doing that, you are missing out on a lot of opportunities to save yourself time and energy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automate your website for free using Sure Triggers. We're going to create a workflow by selecting some apps, choosing a trigger, and adding an action. If you want to follow along, there's a link in my description below where you can sign up for free, no credit card needed. Sure Triggers is made by the same people that make Astra and Cart Flows, so you can trust the quality and the stability. It offers a modern, user-friendly interface where you can easily drag and drop your triggers and actions, no coding required. Let's get started. Okay, when you click the link in my description below, you're gonna to come to a page that looks like this, and let's click the Connect Your Apps button. And I will talk a little bit about some of the pro features later on in this video, but for now, we're gonna just start for free, so click the Start Free button. Then you can either sign up with Google or through your email, and then you're gonna to come to this welcome screen and this onboarding section. We're just gonna go ahead and skip the onboarding for this tutorial, so I'm gonna click that button to skip onboarding. And then we are going to create our first workflow by clicking workflows on the left over here. And then we'll click the create workflow button right here. And then we can choose create from scratch. So what I wanna do here in this example is I wanna make it so when I have prospective clients schedule a call on my calendar, an intro call, I want them automatically added to my leads email list on MailerLite. So that's what we're gonna set up here. So I'm gonna call this schedule an intro call. And then I'm gonna click create. Next we have to add a trigger and the trigger is going to be what starts the automation. So in my example, the trigger is going to be when somebody schedules a call on my new project meeting calendar on Calendly. So I'm gonna click this add trigger button and then I am going to search the apps for Calendly and for event, I am gonna choose invitee created. And then for connection, I am going to click create new connection. I'm already signed into Calendly. If you click that button and you're not, it's probably gonna prompt you to sign in, but I just have to click connect to Calendly. And then it is connecting. And now here, when I choose this, I can select my Calendly account. And now I'm gonna click continue. And now we're gonna test the connection. If you've used Zapier before, this is gonna feel familiar to you. With this data, we're gonna make sure things are working correctly, the trigger's working correctly, and we're gonna use that data when we set up the rest of our workflow. So I'm gonna click Fetch Data, and then I'm gonna click Save. Now we're gonna to wanna to add an action, which is going to be what we want to happen after the trigger happens. And in my situation, we want them to be added to my email list on MailerLite after they schedule a call with me. So go ahead and click this plus sign under your trigger. And now we wanna search for the app that we're using for the action. For me, it's MailerLite. So I'm gonna select that. And for event, I am gonna choose add update subscriber. And then for connection, we're also going to have to add in MailerLite just like we added in Calendly. So I'm gonna click create new connection. And then for a title for this connection, I'm just gonna put add to leads nurture group. And then I have to get the API token. So I'm gonna click here, it says API token located on this page. So I'm gonna click that. And since I'm already logged into MailerLite, it should bring me right where I need to go. And then I'm gonna click this create a new token button right here. Now remember API tokens, you wanna to keep them secret. So I'm gonna blur this out and when you get your API token, hide it. I'm gonna call this token connect to sure triggers. I'm going to click that I have read and understand the API token requirements. And then I'm gonna click create token. Then this screen will pop up. So I'm just gonna click copy. And then I'm gonna click close. 
Now let's pop back to the Sure Triggers tab and then go ahead and paste your API token there and then click Connect MailerLite. And now that MailerLite is connected, we can under Select Connection, choose that Add to Lead Nurture Group connection. Now click Continue. Next, we have to configure the action. So these are basically the settings of what you want the action to do. So first, I'm going to choose the subscriber group. This is basically like email lists for MailerLite. So for this one, I am doing this for my business's leads. So I'm going to choose that. And then for this stuff, what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm matching the information that they're putting in when they schedule the meeting with me to match with the new subscriber it's going to create in MailerLite. So we want to include their first name, their last name, and their email address. Now I'm going to blur all this out to keep the privacy of the last person that scheduled a call with me, but you're going to go ahead and type the at symbol. And then from the test data, you want to find that person's first name. So I'm going to select that. And then you're going to want to do the same to find their last name. And then you're going to want to do the same to find their email address. Now, right now I'm only filling out first name, last name, and email address because that's the only information I collect when somebody schedules a new call with me. But obviously, if you have more things on your form, you would connect them down here. The only ones you have to have on are the ones that are required, which you'll see with the red asterisk. So when you're done with that, click continue. And then we want to test that action by clicking the test action button. And it says action tested successfully. So then we can go ahead and click save at the bottom. And note that this automation is still currently inactive, so we do want to click Publish to turn this on. So I'm clicking that, and then it says Workflow Published Successfully. And what will happen is if we go back into MailerLite, I can see that that subscriber is right there. So the test did go through, but I like to be even extra careful, so I'm going to try to do the test on my own as if I'm my own client and make sure it also goes through. So let's try that. So here's my website and when somebody wants a website with me, they come over here and they schedule a call with me. So let's go ahead and just pick a random date and time. I'm just gonna put in a bunch of random test information and then I'm gonna click the schedule event button. It's showing that it's confirmed. This is redirecting where it's supposed to redirect. So now let's head back to MailerLite and refresh and see if that test person was created. And this might take a little while to go through, but let's see if it's done now. If you don't see it right away on the refresh, uh, wait a little bit and refresh again. But that actually did work right away. There is my test subscriber, so let's click through to that. And then when I click through and look at the subscriber details, I can see that all of this stuff is the same stuff that I put on that meeting scheduling form so everything is working perfectly. Now let's hop back to Sure Triggers because I want to show you some other features that are available to you in the pro version if you choose to do that. So let's go ahead and click this plus sign right here to add another action. And we can see that we have some premium apps here. And these can be useful in many situations. Like say you want to put a delay with the workflow, or maybe you want to put a filter, like you don't want certain actions to happen in the automation unless other things happen first. A lot of these premium apps could be very useful for you. So if this is something you would need, you would want to upgrade now, click that upgrade now button, and then it will bring you to pricing and bring you to the different options for which different um, pricing packages have for you and which premium apps are available in which of the packages. So then when you do sign up for the pro plan and you click this add action button, now all the apps will be available to you. And we also now have the option to do multi-step workflows so you can throw in as many of the apps as you need to make sure your automation is perfect. So we can click in that delay app and then for select event, we can say delay four, and then we can click continue. And then for value, we can 
put two and then for unit we can put days so we can have it wait for two days and then we can click continue and then we can go to test action and then we can click save and then we could have it wait two days before it does another action. We can also do conditional actions with the pro version. So say I click into this mailer light action, I can then click the add conditions button up here. And then I can set conditions that say if the conditions below are not met, skip this action and go to the next. So for example, if I only wanted to add people to that mailer light email list, if they're scheduling their meeting from my new project calendar and not from another meeting calendar, I could have it set the condition at the event type from the test and say that for the operator, it has to be equal to that same event type and then I could click save. And then don't forget to hit update on the top right whenever you make any changes. And then you can choose to do it in the same version or a new version. And then your workflow will be updated and published. And that's it. Now you know how to automate your WordPress website for free with the Short Triggers plugin. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to grab my free nine step website roadmap so you can make sure you're doing everything you need to do to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.